Welcome to this lesson uh, dedicated to the polyrhythms issue and today I'm going to share with you a very simple and effective strategy how to master uh, simple polyrhythms like three against two and never never struggle with them anymore. But for that you have to really move in steps as I will explain today because it's very important to implement motions one by one and we are going to discuss how to make it more effectively. If you are interested in a more detailed, comprehensive lesson on uh, Debussy's Arabesque number one, please follow the link in the description where you will get an access to a 90-minute full course dedicated to this piece. So the first thing which we are going to do, we are going to establish the pulsation of quarter notes, which we are going to fill with triplets and duplets, respectively. So this rhythm you can you can use metronome for that but uh, i suggest you to actively develop your sense of pulsation so you can stomp with your feet you choose a tempo choose a slow one like one two three and stomp with your feet always feel, so you would feel those beats and then we would fill this pulse with triplets one two three one three one two three like that so far so good right uh but now we are going to implement a phrase which is like not my invention some piano teacher has invented that method actually uh so uh, i'm going to share it with you unfortunately i don't remember who uh, are they but the method is brilliant it's it, it uses a very simple phrase which goes like nice cup of tea basically in order to coordinate motions well Technically, you can use any phrase of four syllables for that. Uh, if you're not particularly British, you can use something like a uh, deep glass of wine or big pile of cash. I, I don't know, wh whatever makes you more excited, basically. But let's, let's use a nice cup of tea just because it's easier to pronounce and it doesn't excite me that much that I can't think about polyrhythms. <laughs> so we are going to play this triplet and for this exercise, uh, for this method, it's uh, necessary to loop one triplet and play it a, a few times in a row, many times in a row, in order to get this motion routine into your body. So please bear with me and don't uh, hesitate to loop one small fragment. So we are going to play just three notes, like just the second beat of this piece basically. And we are going to say nice cup tea. It's very important to speak for this method because when you speak you also articulate things so you implement those rhythmical sensations as well. So your feet are still stomping the beats. Boom. Boom. Like that. And you fill those beats with triplets. Nice cup tea. Nice cup tea. And you see I'm skipping word off because this word is reserved for the left hand, for the duplet, which will be right between the second and the third note. So now we just stomp with the feet and speak one uh, nice cup tea, nice cup tea, nice cup tea. And you loop that second beat a few times until you can really do it uh, very precisely, steadily and evenly. As soon as you feel comfortable with that, you start throwing the word off right between cup and tea. Now we say Nice cup of tea, nice cup of tea, nice cup of tea, like that. But you still don't play with the left hand yet. So first thing is just to make it with your voice. Next stage is to play that second eighth note, that G sharp, when you say off word. So we count, so we say nice cup of tea, nice cup of tea, like that, you see? So when you say off, you also play that second note. And your feet still stomp the pulse of quarter notes. Yeah? So let's try nice cup of tea, nice cup of tea, nice cup of tea. Yeah? So right on off that note happens, right on off. And this is mathematically like the middle between cup and tea. It's right in the middle. Yeah? So at the end we get a rhythm like nice cup of tea nice cup of tea so you have right hand right left right 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 left right so this is very basic you just have to loop one beat and play it multiple times maybe return it to this exercise a few t a few days in a row just until you can gradually raise the tempo and um, feel yourself comfortable in a tempo like nice cup of tea 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 like as quickly as you as you can play it and most probably you will need let's say maybe a few days in order to feel yourself really comfortable with that after that 
you add the first note, the first eighth note in your um, left hand. So we play, when, you, when we say nice, we play both hands. And then we additionally throw the second eighth note when you say off. So we have nice cup of tea, nice cup of tea, nice cup of tea. So play it first in a very comfortable, slow tempo, so you can really make it very even, very smoothly, loop each beat like, like that. You can also move to the next beat and play uh, in the same way. Nice cup of tea, nice cup of tea, nice cup of tea, nice cup of tea. And then gradually smoother and faster. Nice cup of tea, nice cup of tea, nice cup of tea, nice. Most probably it will take just a few days actually in order to form a new skill. I hope that this simple method will help you to master polyrhythms once and for good. Have fun playing piano and see you next time.